Welcome back to AM 590, 99.7 on the FM dial and everywhere at newsradioklbj.com. Let's give them the business. It's brought to you by Pinballs. That's Pinballs with a Z. Pinballs.com. Stocks end up as voters headed to the polls yesterday. We get uh, uh, the latest from Fox Business's Jerry Willis in New York. A late day surge sending stocks higher in an election day rally. At the close, the Dow higher by 427 points, the S&P up 70, the Nasdaq higher by 259. Although the presidential race is viewed as extremely tight in key battleground states, traders were upbeat. Big tech and industrial stocks led the broad rally in which all 11 S&P 500 sectors finished higher. Meanwhile, bond yields jumped as markets weighed the presidential race. The 10-year Treasury flirted with a four-month high. One source of optimism, the Fed widely expected to cut rates by 25 basis points when it meets Thursday. In New York, Jerry Willis, Fox Business. It is 551. Factory workers at Boeing will soon be headed back to work after voting to accept a new contract offer. The deal locks in 38% raises over four years for the Seattle area workers and $12,000 signing bonuses. Boeing says it will bump machinists' average annual pay from around $75,000 to $119,000 over four years before overtime. The design and manufacturing company has been under increased scrutiny since jet crashes in 2018 and 2019 killed 346 people. Then this January, a door panel blew out of an Alaska Airlines plane, leading the FAA to restrict production of Boeing's 737 MAX jets. Caroline Shively, Fox News. What's the old saying? Everything's bigger in Texas? Well, that includes your debt. Online platform LendingTree is named Austin, Texas, the most debt-ridden metro in the country. Analyzing anonymous credit reports from approximately 210,000 users in the 50 largest U.S. metros. And we're looking at non-mortgage debts, which included auto loans, student loans, credit cards, personal loans, other types of debt. LendingTree reported a per-person average of more than $45,000 in debt for Austin residents. Now, Lady Tree experts, they said Austin's currently a city's infrastructure leaning largely on car-centric, added to the higher auto loan debts, particularly when paired with the highest interest rates and increased auto cost. Now, on the student loan front, Lending Tree's report pointed to Austin as having a highly educated population as well as a robust uh, industry of jobs in the science and technology fields, which often spell out a higher education attainment related to debt. Austin wasn't the only Texas city with high debt levels. Lending Tree's top 10 metro breakdown is on our website at newsradioklbj.com. Austin, Austin, Texas, $45,920 for the average non-mortgage debt. It is 5:53. One of the first big jobs for the new president will be the, well, the uh, well more talk about a trade deal with uh, with other countries, Canada and Mexico in particular. Originally called NAFTA, the United States Mexico Canada Agreement is about to expire, and Tony Payan at Rice's Baker Institute says a sweetheart deal is likely off the table. The move in the United States towards less free trade and no additional agreements on trade comes from both sides of the aisle. He says it's not just the president. There's a bigger anti-globalization effort. That trade deal is huge for Texas. Mexico is the state's largest export destination and Canada is second. Michael Board, TSN News. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department expects a bountiful year when it comes to deer hunting. With deer hunting season already open and running until January 5th in North Texas and January 19th in South Texas, Parks and Wildlife folks say it should be a good year for hunters to fill their bellies and freezers with venison. They say biologists credit grout-quenching spring rains for creating productive habitats for a strong deer harvest. Parks and Wildlife are asking hunters to make use of free testing to monitor chronic wasting disease. There are some new white-tailed deer hunting regulations and you're reminded to be up to date with public hunting lands regulations along with having a hunting permit. You can get more info online at tpwd.texas.gov. Mark Lambert, TSN News. An 11-year-old California girl has won $300,000 in a settlement with the sheriff's deputies who seized her pet goats for slaughter. The girl will receive the money after a settlement with the Shasta County Sheriff's Office in Northern California. Courthouse News Service reports the girl's mother, Jessica Long, sued after deputies traveled about 500 miles round trip in 2022 to take the goat without a proper warrant in response to state fair rules that had no legal binding. The girl was given Cedar the goat to raise for a state fair livestock auction. But after tending to him for months, she couldn't give him up. And as the lawsuit states, 
she lost him and he lost his life. Carmen Roberts, Fox News. Now it's believed that the Shasta District State Fair slaughtered a cedar the goats for a community barbecue. It's 5.55 here at KLBJ. Stay close, traffic your forecast, the day's stop, the top stories, and of course, your opinions and reactions this morning on the Todd and Oz Show. The Todd and Oz Show. Encouraging you to do the Texas thing and visit the range at Austin. This place is beautiful. 52,000 square feet of truly modern Texas fun. This place is bright, it's open, and very inviting. They have more than 7,000 square feet of retail, including new and used guns, of course. And, well, the staff at the range, they're very friendly. Holidays are approaching, and you may want to consider maybe some uh, gift cards or a special gift for that loved one in your family that's a gun lover, maybe new to the gun world. And, uh, you know, you could also buy something for yourself, too. You could also book a machine gun package for you and your friends and schedule a private lesson and things like that. And, well, if you're new to the gun world, the range at South Austin is where you need to begin this journey. The range at Austin, located off of I-35, just 10 minutes south of downtown. It's open to all seven days a week. Yeah, you could find them online, therangeaustin.com. Maybe do the Texas thing and book one of those machine gun packages. Maybe buy a membership and learn more. Online, therangeaustin.com, therangeaustin.com.